I'm afforded the really unique opportunity to play with the latest smartphones, which for me is a dream come true because I love mobile tech. And everybody in the office here loves mobile tech too, but sometimes we can't agree on what the best phone is, and that kind of was until now. So when our editor-in-chief Roy Choi and our executive editor Todd Hazelton both said their favorite phones and the phones they are using right now is a Huawei Mate 9, I figured I should take notice and maybe give it a shot myself. So initially just looking at the screen, I just assumed it was QHD, but it is not. It is 1080p and it looks really nice. The camera on the Mate 9 though can definitely be a little bit hit or miss. It's totally capable of taking really excellent shots, but it's not nearly as good as I've had with the Pixel XL or the iPhone 7 Plus. Todd and Roy were saying how awesome battery life is. This phone could last for days and days. So I was expecting really great things I started using the Mate 9, and they were kind of right. Battery life is really unmatched. I also really liked the industrial design on the phone. It felt really good in the hand. I liked the fingerprint reader, although the spot where you put your finger was a little bit small. It felt nice. It kind of had that HTC industrial build to it. The phone seemed really zippy throughout everything I did. I never had any sort of slowdown. I was a little bit dubious about the Kirin processor, uh, but no issue at all with any sort of speed decrease. I played games, watched movies, multitask. Everything worked perfectly. The Mate 9 is really good at a lot of things. It's not great in any one, but it's not bad at anything either. It's a really well-rounded phone. I could see why Todd and Roy liked it, but the caveat comes with probably don't pick one up right now. I did a video a few weeks back saying you should probably wait to buy a new smartphone. That still holds true. I want to see what happens at Mobile World Congress. So at the beginning, I said this was Todd and Roy's favorite phone. I think it's probably one of mine too at this point as well. It's not as flashy or even as fast as the Pixel and the pictures aren't as good, but it does everything really well. And there's a few things that those devices don't do, the Pixel XL and the regular Pixel. Have you guys tried the Mate 9? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know in the comments down below. Give the video a thumbs up. We certainly appreciate it. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo.